Hey guys, this is Scott Ellis with GeekBeat TV, and we are here at the Digital Experience at CES 2015. And could the promise of home automation actually finally be upon us? Let's take a look. Welcome to GeekBeat. Okay, so we're here at the Digital Experience, and I've just stumbled across the Insteon booth, where they are showing off some of their home automation technology. Now, one of the things that's a little bit different about them and some of the other platforms that you've seen so far is they've actually developed the underlying software and hardware and open it up so that it can integrate with other systems in addition to the products of their own that they're building. So they've got things like light bulbs and switches and sensors and cameras and all kinds of stuff that they produce, but this can also also work with the Nest, with the Google thermostat and some of the other products that are coming out. Now what's interesting about this is they've actually created a mesh network so that you have reliability across your home. So all of the devices are a part of that network, whether it's a light bulb or a sensor, and can pass those signals along so that you get solid communication even if your Wi-Fi goes down or something else. Now there's a couple of parts to this. If you just want the products, say you wanted light bulbs and switches, that's easy enough. That's really all you need, plug it in and you're good to go. If you want a little bit more functionality and you want to control all of these things via an app or while you're away from your home, then they've actually created a bridge that you can plug all of these things into, wirelessly of course, but they connect, and then you can control this stuff from anywhere you go. Now exactly how this works uh, gets into some technical bits and bytes um, that I don't completely understand. So I'm going to go pull on Joe here in a minute, and he's going to walk us through some of the some of the things that really make this work. But while we're waiting on Joe, because he's talking to somebody else, I want to show you something because I thought this was super cool. This is a water leak sensor. So you guys may remember that uh, what is it, a couple of years ago now we had a nice big flood at the old Geek Beat office before we moved into the Geek House. And something like this, we could have installed uh, near the place where we were concerned that more water might come out. And it would actually be a part of the network and then could tell us if another water leak happened and could communicate with a shutoff valve to turn off the water. So instead of all that flooding that we got, we could have actually had something in place that would have shut it down for us and kept that from happening. So in addition to that and a number of other cool products, you got things like the light bulbs. Now, LED light bulbs at this point are nothing new, uh, but theirs is actually a part of the network. Costs about $30 and enhances and extends your mesh network in the house and all of the other home automation products that you have. So let's step over here. We're gonna talk to Joe a little bit about some of the technical bits that actually make this work. Okay, I am now here with Joe Gerber. He is the president and CEO of Insteon, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about how this works. So first of all, Joe, thanks for taking some time out to talk to us. From a consumer standpoint, so as somebody that wants to put this in their house, what do I need to know? Why would I do Insteon as opposed to you know, a Nest here and a, a, another device there? Why does this make more sense than the things that are currently available? Um, well, it's quite simple. I think consumers want something that's very simple, affordable, and very reliable. And so, whether they start with a Nest or whether they start with an Insteon bulb, uh, they can do that. Uh, but what Insteon brings to, um, to the world is uh, reliability and affordability. So for the consumer, uh, they can buy over 200 products, any of 200 products, and through the platform, of either HomeKit or with Nest. They can bring other products like Nest or August Locks or uh, Chamber and Garage Door Openers um, together with our array of over 200 different products like bulbs and sensors and thermostats and create what I think all consumers really want, which is uh, peace of mind within the home, a connected home that gives them benefit. Okay. So let's switch to the developer standpoint now, uh, because you know, as somebody who's been in technology a long time, what's always most interesting to me is the things that people come up with that we'd never dream of. Sure. So you guys are creating a platform that other people or other developers can build products to work with and integrate with. Yes. So if I'm looking at this going, wow, I want to start building things for Insteon, yes. what do I need to know? Where do they begin? Well, the first thing you need to know is that we opened up our API today. So 
uh, you have access to our API, we'd love, love to work with you, and uh, what Insteon brings to uh, the world, and I think that, that uh, you know, we've seen this by working with Apple and, and the folks at Nest and Microsoft, is that, is that uh, everybody is talking about the connected space and the connected home and fulfilling that vision that everybody's been selling the consumer. And so, uh, with Insteon, uh, you bring, by working with us, you bring over 200 products into uh, the, uh, um, uh, the platform, plus uh, you bring the most reliable, scalable, and affordable technology out there. Uh, we are a dual band technology, so we're RF and power line. We're a mesh network, and we're not routed, so we're a distributed intelligence network, and uh, we're, we're thrilled to be working with uh, these platforms and any other developers that may want to work with us. Okay, last but not least, and perhaps most important, this is the question everybody wants to know, when can I get it, and how much is it going to cost? Well, we've been around for a long time, so if you want Insteon, you can get it today or yesterday. You can buy it at retail if you're a consumer. Okay. Uh, if you're a developer, uh, give us a call and uh, we'll get you development kits and we'll start working with you. Okay. What, and what is the, the, the cost point of entry? Is it just whatever individual products we want to get or the bridge or what have you that I need to get going? So unlike other uh, platforms, with Insteon, if you want to get started simply with a bulb and a remote, you don't need a hub or anything else. You just screw the light bulb in and pair it with a remote and turn it on and off, and it's just very simple. You can do the same thing with modules. But uh, if you want to start and have remote access, uh, you might start with our hub. Uh, currently, it's $39.95. For the hub? For the hub. Oh, that's, that's awesome. It is awesome. But, you know, again, we, we really want to make the connected home very simple, affordable, and reliable for the consumer. So, you know, what better way than to introduce a hub at $39.95? And then you buy products that range from uh, $39.95 on up. The average price, let's say, is $49.95 for a uh, device. But uh, for instance, you buy a leak sensor and you put it into place, and, and the next thing you know, you have alerts and status uh, in an area that you may be concerned about getting wet or having a leak. And, and uh, you have that peace of mind with you, with your smartphone, anywhere in the world. All right, I love it. Joe, thank you so much. Appreciate your time, thank you. Guys, looks like home automation might be getting a lot more affordable, a lot easier in 2015. We'll be back with a whole lot more coverage from CES 2015. See you soon.